At six with the latest BBC News, I'm Nick Wilson, an education and child's well-being expert from Doncaster's calling on the government to rethink plans to get kids to catch up on their schoolwork over the summer holidays. Frederica Roberts is from the Education Wellbeing Collective. They've sent an open letter to the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, asking him to prioritise giving children time to play with their mates over the summer break. We understand that there is some academic catching up that needs to be done at some point. But all the research shows that unless children are emotionally and mentally well, they're not in a good place to learn. So the priority has to be to support their well-being and their mental health. The Department for Education says they've created a mental health in education action group to specifically look how to support children's well-being. Good morning. It's seven o'clock. I'm Nick Wilson with the latest BBC News. The government's being asked to rethink its plans to get children to catch up on their schoolwork over the summer holidays. Frederica Roberts is an education and child's well-being expert from Doncaster. She's part of the Education Wellbeing Collective. They've sent an open letter to the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, asking him to prioritise giving kids time to play with their mates over the summer. We understand that there is some academic catching up that needs to be done at some point, but all the research shows that unless children are emotionally and mentally well they're not in a good place to learn so the priority has to be to support their well-being and their mental health the department for education says they've created a mental health and education action group to specifically look at how to support children's well-being at eight with the latest BBC News, I'm Nick Wilson. The government's being asked to rethink its plans to get children to catch up on their schoolwork over the summer holidays. Frederica Roberts is an education and child's wellbeing expert from Doncaster. She's part of the Education Wellbeing Collective. We've spoken to her live this morning. This collective has sent a letter, an open one, to the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, asking him to prioritise giving kids time to play with their mates over the summer break. There is no doubt that there has been, um, you know, a lot of disruption to education. We're not saying that, uh, that the academic stuff doesn't matter, but all the research shows that in order for children to learn, to be in the best place to learn, they actually need to be mentally well. They need to, to be emotionally well. And actually... They have missed out on so much time with their friends over this time because, yes, they've been at home, home learning, etc., for, for much of the year, but actually they haven't been able to, to play out with their friends. An education and child's well-being expert from Doncaster is calling on the government to rethink plans to get children to catch up on schoolwork over the summer holidays. Frederica Roberts is from the Education Wellbeing Collective. They've sent an open letter to the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, asking him to prioritise giving children time to just go play out with their mates. This talk about potentially having summer school catch-up to catch up on, on academic subjects is not really going to serve them particularly well. What they really need this summer is to be able to play outside with their friends to talk to their friends because that's what they've been missing out on really that connection with their friends and that is absolutely huge in terms of their well-being.